Hello everyone. So before this cleaning video starts, I just wanted to film this little clip here quick just to say thank you for 100,000 YouTube subscribers. This is the first video going live after we hit 100,000 subscribers back about two days ago on Monday. So I just wanted to pop on and say thank you so, so much. This is something that I've been working towards for a long, long time. A lot of hard work has gone into this channel, so it's just such an amazing feeling to see all of that hard work pay off. And I cannot wait to get that silver plaque in the mail, and I'm going to be unboxing it here on my YouTube channel so I'm going to do my 100,000 subscriber giveaway in this video and as a small way to say thank you I'm giving away a $100 gift card to Target all you have to do to enter this giveaway is give this video a thumbs up be sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and then leave a comment down below this video and let me know how long you've been watching my YouTube channel. I think that would be really interesting to read through. So if you want to enter to win this $100 Target gift card, then just be sure that you do all of those things. And again, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I just finished taking a picture for Instagram. That's why the balloons are behind me. But anyway, now we will get into the cleaning video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. I haven't done a whole lot of these lately so I thought that I would post one today for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy it and that it can give you some cleaning motivation. The very first thing that I did was to get Owen sheets out of the dryer and put them on his bed and then I did some straightening up in their room, got their clothing organized. If you're new here to my channel, this house that I'm cleaning today is a fixer-upper. We've been working at renovating this house for the last couple of months. We've been filming the whole entire process, so if you want to go back and watch that home renovation series, you can. And I also have a bedroom makeover for this bedroom, the boys' bedroom. You can get links for everything and all of the details are in that video, so I will link it down below. And we are still working at renovating and decorating this house. Our next big project that we're working on is the outside of the house. We're currently prepping it for paint. We've demoed some areas out there and now we're prepping for paint and then we're going to start painting. So if you want to see that whole process, be sure you're subscribed and you can continue to watch this house transform. Like I said, I was organizing the boys' clothes. We keep them in all of these bins here in this white dresser that I got from Walmart. had a lot of laundry to catch up on on this cleaning day so I went ahead and got some of that started and my washer and dryer I've been getting some questions about what brand they are they are both an LG they have a 10-year warranty I've really been impressed with them and they came with the house which was a huge blessing that we got those with the house because we didn't own a washer and dryer set. After the first load of laundry was started, I straightened up our shoe rack that we have over here, and then I wanted to clean this little guest bathroom that we have off of the laundry room. A few weeks ago, we gave this little bathroom a makeover. It's a crazy transformation, so be sure that you go back and watch that video. All of the links for everything that you see in this little bathroom is in that video. I just really love how it turned out.
This little trash can was from Home Goods. These are my favorite kind of trash cans to put in a bathroom. They make these in a round shape or this rectangular shape, which is nice when you have a small bathroom. It can go right beside the toilet. I like that it has the little step to open up the lid and then the inside's got the handle to go and dump it in the bigger trash. So now that the guest bathroom is clean, I could mark that off of my to-do list. You guys know that I love to make a to-do list at the beginning of my cleaning day. What I will do at the beginning of the day is just brainstorm on everything that I need to get clean that day. I will write it all down on the list. Even if I don't think I can get it all clean that day, I will just write it all down and then just get stuff done as I can, mark it off the list once it's done. I was getting ready to throw our sheets in the washer, hence why there is no sheets on our mattress, but I'm really excited to give our master bedroom a makeover. I think I pretty much know what I'm going to be doing in here. I want to do a rug, some nightstands, curtains, lamps, a lot of fun ideas that I have for this room. I can't wait to get started on that. We will be keeping our bed frame and our headboard. We really love those. Those are from Article. Okay, so now I'm gonna vacuum the carpet in our master bedroom with my new favorite vacuum. This is the Robo Rock H6, and Robo Rock is sponsoring today's video, which I'm very grateful for. This vacuum comes with so many different amazing attachments that you can use throughout your home. The first one is the crevice tool. This is great for so many different things, getting in those crevices, especially cleaning out your vehicle. This one comes in very handy. This other one is the motorized mini brush, which I love to vacuum my couches with. The next one is the dusting brush. This vacuum also comes with a flexible tube that you can attach to the vacuum and then attach your attachments onto that to get into those hard to get places. It is just an amazing vacuum. You guys can see the vacuum lines in the carpet. It's got awesome suction. I love how it has the two in one design with the accessory rack. And I like how on the little screen, it will show you the selected power mode, the remaining run time. So it'll be counting down how many minutes and seconds you have left before you need to charge the battery. This H6 vacuum has got three different modes. So you've got the max mode, standard mode, and eco mode. The flooring in our house is mainly laminate. Then we've got carpet and we've also got tile. This vacuumed worked great on all three. And when you go from a hard surface like laminate onto the carpet, the vacuum will sense the carpet and strengthen its power automatically. And here's a little demonstration of that. Okay, so another great thing about this vacuum is that it has an unlock and lock feature. So you just push the button on the side to lock and then you can also unlock. So Very easy to empty this thing. All you're gonna do is push this button right here and it will pop open. And then to remove this filter, I just twist it and it will just pull right out. Now I'm just going to rinse these and then you will let them dry for 24 hours before putting them back in your vacuum. This vacuum also has a rear filter at the top and we're gonna clean this one as well. If you want to go and check out this amazing vacuum, the link will be down below in the description box. And thank you again to Robo Rock for sponsoring today's video.
So in this little spare bedroom that we have, I've just been storing all of the home decor that I used in our previous two houses that I haven't used in this house yet. Some of it was still in boxes or just sitting in here. I wanted to go through all of this, decide what I was going to donate, what I was gonna sell, and what I was gonna keep. And then everything that I was going to keep, I wanted to organize into this closet that we have here in the spare bedroom. That way when I go to decorate certain rooms, I can just go to the certain spot in this closet go through the home decor that I know that I want to keep and see what I want to use to decorate this house with. Each house that you move into kind of has its own style and your style yourself changes throughout the years. So you can't always use the same things in every single house, but I was able to keep a lot of my decor, but a lot of it I am going to be selling as well, just so that we can try new things in this house. The next thing on my list was to get this kitchen cleaned up, wash the dishes, get this dishwasher started. And the last video on my channel was the kitchen cabinet makeover. So I took you guys through the whole process of painting these cabinets and putting on new hardware. This room was a huge transformation as well. So be sure that you go back and watch that video. I also explain in that video everything else that we want to do in the kitchen over the next couple of months and year. We are going to be doing a new sink and a new faucet in this kitchen when we replace the countertops. I'm not sure how soon the countertops are going to get replaced. It could be a month, it could be two months, but I did get my new sink and faucet in the mail already the other day and I am so excited to get them put in this kitchen, but for now they have to stay boxed up in their box. Now the kitchen is all clean, we can get that marked off of the list and move on to the next thing. And once the kitchen was cleaned, I wanted to light a little candle in here, get it smelling good. This mango citrus candle from Antique Candle Company has to be my favorite candle scent that I've ever smelled. Like you have got to smell this candle. It smells amazing. I will have the link for their website down below.
getting that laundry folded and I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you're getting cleaned while you're watching this video or what you're going to be cleaning afterwards. Are you folding laundry? Are you washing dishes? And you guys can see behind me here in between me and my husband's closets, we've got that big cutout in the wall. That actually used to be a fourth closet in our bedroom, but we removed that during the renovations. If you guys have been watching the whole renovation series, then you saw when we removed that. And I've got a couple ideas of what I want to do for that space. You guys have given a lot of great suggestions as well. One of the things that I know I for sure want to do there is to put some big wooden corbels at either corner just to kind of round out those sharp square corners a little bit. What do you guys think of this couch layout? We used to have both of the couches facing each other and then while my mom and dad were visiting, me and my mom were moving the couches around and kind of experimenting with some different layouts. And we came up with this layout, which I think works really well in the space. And then I would do a single comfy chair over in the corner by the fireplace. We are going to be doing new living room furniture in here that's actually going to be arriving hopefully in the next month and I'll be selling these couches. But I just kind of wanted to figure out the layout before we got the new couches. sheets got done in the dryer so I put those on my bed there's nothing better than having fresh clean sheets on your bed to crawl into at night right now we just have sheets pillow and a comforter on our bed nothing fancy no decorative pillows no blankets or anything like that so I'm really excited to do the bedroom makeover because I'll be adding all those kinds of things with a rug underneath the bed. So stay tuned for that video. I'm not sure how soon I'm gonna be able to get to this room because like I said, we're trying to focus on the outside of the house right now. know it's a good vacuum when it even leaves vacuum lines on your couch. I've been loving using this vacuum because I don't have to unplug and plug into plugins as I'm vacuuming the whole entire house. I can just grab it, vacuum the whole house, the couches, everything, don't have to worry about a cord or anything like that. That is going to be it for this whole house clean with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it gave you some cleaning motivation. This might be the last cleaning video for a couple of weeks. I'm not sure just because over the next couple of weeks I've got a lot of house projects that I'm going to be working on, some decorating, we're going to work on painting the house. So I'll have all of those videos coming out for you guys so be sure that you're subscribed and make sure you click the notification bell beside the subscribe button 
That way you get a notification every time I upload a new video and you never miss a video. You can also go over and follow me on Instagram for more everyday updates. I post over there as often as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple days in a new video. Bye.